final here at Olympic Park. In 17 league matches since the NSL started in 1977, South Melbourne has won six, there have been six draws, and Heidelberg has won five. Recent form is all important as far as the grand final is concerned, and the results show that South Melbourne has beaten Heidelberg in their past four matches. Looking at the South Melbourne Hellas team first, and we see that Alan Davidson, their star midfielder, who's joining Nottingham Forest in England next year, is back, although he was injured playing for Australia against Tasmania in Hobart last week. Davidson is the man who inspired South Melbourne's first NSL victory over Heidelberg back in 1980 with a hat-trick of goals in the semi-final against Melbourne, Croatia on Wednesday night. Our referee, Doug Rennie from Sydney, and this is Heidelberg, Heidelberg's eighth final since the National League started. Knocked on by Stevenson for Valentine. Murphy sticks with him, gets in his challenge. Steve Marley, number three. He joined Heidelberg from uh, Croydon City, the Victorian State League Club, early this year. An attempted header, and Salamides with it. Salamides. So another free kick from Marley. Headed away by Blair, and a long shot coming from Mickey Peterson. He puts it away. 1-0 to Heidelberg. A lovely shot on the volley by Mickey Peterson. He did this against uh, Melbourne, Croatia in the semi-final that Heidelberg lost. Scored in the first minute. Now, no hope for Lormitz. Charlie Uncos, number 10. Long shot to block, blocked again, and finally scrambled in by Alan Davidson. Davidson's got to be the scorer. He was the last touch. 1-1. And the kids come onto the field. Now Oliver can't control it. Egan blocked. Davidson blocked. And Davidson scrambles it over the line now. But Murphy's brought down by Charlie Yankos. They face Murphy was away. Yankos again. Peterson. And win challenge in the air. Couldn't get to it. Davidson. Stevenson. That's in. 2-1. Stuart Stevenson. Three goals on Wednesday night. One today. He certainly left his uh, run for the, for the right time of the season. Davidson trying to clear, very short. And Stevenson took it on his chest, put it away. Still there, takes his shot, and it goes across the goal. Yankos already has been shown the yellow card once. So if this is a yellow card offence, he'll be sent off. Help being called for Oscar Crino. Here we see it again. And Yankos takes his legs. The melee of players in the middle. Charlie Yankos was sent off the field in the second match between these two sides this year. Charlie Egan was sent off the field in the first match between them. Now, uh, Yankos has been sent off. There he goes, his second send-off in uh, matches against South Melbourne this season. Greeno tries a shot and it's in the net. A wonderful goal by Oscar Greeno. Almost a carbon copy of uh, Peterson's goal earlier for Heidelberg. What fine control. Just watch him hit this. 
No hope for Alba. Well, that's Oscar Trino's third goal for South Melbourne against Heidelberg this season. Making a run wide and Davidson delivers. Egan tries a shot himself. We'll see who deflected it. Yes, I think it was uh, Valentine. So Brown's corner. Headed in. for South Melbourne Hallis. And once more the kids come onto the field. There's a corner. Eisendorn goes bang. Two replacements now for Heidelberg. Scott Patterson and Steve Cassios coming on. Steve wins off. And Mike Valentine. Murphy. Egan. Going to the line. Cuts it back. Yes. Oscar Trino gets his second. 4-2. And once more, the good work done by Charlie Egan. There's Egan holding off Anjali. We'll go all the way to the line here. Cuts it back. Greeno. One touch. And there's pandemonium out on the field. All the Halla supporters have come on again. And they have... Rennie waiting for all the people to get off the field. Duck Brown. And so South Melbourne Hellas is in the national final. The final score. South Melbourne Hellas 4. Heidelberg Alexander, two. And Oscar Crino scored two goals in this match. Heidelberg led twice at 1-0 and 2-1. At that stage, Charlie Yankos was sent off the field, paving the way for South Melbourne's comeback. And they certainly did it well. So there's uh, the scenes of jubilation out on the field. So we leave you here at Olympic Park looking forward to the home and away national final on Wednesday and Sunday. Gurus in action in the first leg of the national final between South Melbourne Hellas and Sydney Olympic, the two biggest soccer clubs in the country. And the match could very well be decided by the midfield clash between South Melbourne's Oscar Crino and Peter Kafolos of Olympic. Crino has been the match winner against, South, uh, against uh, Croatia and Heidelberg in two finals matches so far, while Kafolos, the 1982 Australian Player of the Year, is one of our finest midfield maestros, and he scored 14 goals as well. Looking at the teams now, the South Melbourne uh, lineup is unchanged. The same team that beat uh, Heidelberg 4-2 in the Australian Conference, or rather the National Conference final. Sydney Olympic makes one change. Marshall Soper, number nine, coming into the team to replace Nick Theodorakopoulos, number 16, who's on the bench. And there's the kickoff. Doug Rennie of Sydney, a referee. beaten only once in the past 14 matches and that was on penalties by Sydney City. Rogers on the ball. Cutting inside. Good tackle from Blair. Picked up by Murphy and played forward. Now Kathalos getting his first touch. 
This is Martin Rogers turning it back to Phillips. Booted clear by Eisendorn. Thoughtful lead up work by Olympic. Finally crossed inside by Phillips, but there's Davidson. Jimmy Patikas. Jennings. And it's Eisendorn and Nikopoulos. Marshall Soper getting his first touch. Of Juventus from Italy. Here in Melbourne during the World Series, uh, the goalkeeper turned around and uh, punched Soper to the ground. Here's oh, an attempted shot for... Peter Cafolos taking it. Floated in, headed down, and Kusas. 1-0 to Olympic, Mark Kusas the scorer. And that goal came in uh, only the fifth minute of play. Who will it be? They'll go get out of the way as Brown takes the shot and he hits the post. Brown. Blair. And it's put in by Egan. Egan has made it 1-1. But full marks to Steve Blair, who went up for the header. Egan was there on the line. A similar sort of goal to the one that Kusa scored. Blair up very high. Meyer got the, his hands to it. But there's Egan, number nine, putting it away. 1-1. One, one. And fireworks on the far side of the ground. Orange smoke coming uh, off the pitch. There it is. One of the officials trying to get the flares off the pitch. shot but straight at Meyer. Half time whistle sounds now leaving the score at South Melbourne one, Sydney Olympic one. <laughs> Murphy with a cross ball. He must have blasted him for that uh, last 15 or 20 minutes of the first half whereas Lenny does you very rarely get it so uh, we never have the opportunity to see the best of Davidson playing in that sort of position Marshall Soper getting a lot of stick from the fans Dacos Raskopoulos Hits uh, Cody with that one. Finally gets it over. Jennings in the way. Egan lobs it and puts it away. 2-1 for South Melbourne Hellas. Charlie Egan's second goal. And he's 11th of the season. Brilliantly taken. There he is. Lobbing the ball over Meyer, who had come out of his area at the meeting.
South Melbourne House, we are the champions, says the flag. Theodora Coppolis underneath that one. Runs into Blair. Oh, that goes behind Lornex. Was it over the line? No, they say. Here's Egan again. Still has it. And Brown, Brown facing Meyer. Hurried shot. Melbourne has won the first leg of the national soccer final. 2-1 the scoreline. South Melbourne has deserved to win this game. Now it's up to the second leg in Melbourne on Sunday at St George Stadium. The uh, result of the national final will hinge on that result. Uh, in Sydney on Sunday. South Melbourne today repeated their Wednesday performance and again beat Sydney Olympic two goals to one. The first goal came from a Doug Brown corner kick in the ninth minute. As Brown swings this one across. Murphy just touching it on Eisendorn. Phillips. Carino. Oscar Carino. South Melbourne take the lead after nine minutes. Eight minutes later, John Eisendorn made it 2-0, again from a Doug Brown corner. So many variations on the corner kick. It's a few goals this season. As Eisendorn makes it 2-0. And again, it was from the corner. Olympic fought back to reduce the difference, but that wasn't enough. And the cup went to South Melbourne. And for South Melbourne are the Australian champions for 1984, defeating Sydney Olympic here 2-1 to make it 4-2 on aggregate. The end of the 1984 season, South Melbourne are the Australian champions. The final scoreline, South Melbourne 2, Sydney Olympic 1, and now we cross to Les Murray. But for match of the day for 1984, good night. We certainly hope you've enjoyed the NSL Grand Final tonight. Now Les will have a break to return at about 5 past 11 with the final show for tonight, Domenica Sportiva. Shortly, The Age of Iron. In the Buffalo Gold Cup Night Series and National Cup, they've won only once. Top Egan comes in, and Egan on an angle, bounces it in off the far post. That's 1-0 to South Melbourne. Charlie Egan, the scorer. What an opportunist he is. Gary McDowell heads it on. Here comes Egan, flicks it past Dennis. He's in the clear, and he bounces it in off the far post. McClellan. Lucchese's in the middle, uses his skill to bring it down, but he's outnumbered, really. Lewis knocks it into the middle again. Here's Lloyd. Lloyd White for Smart. Can he cross it in? He gets it on the line. Still in play. Here's Lloyd, and Lucchese... And Lewis, and Lewis puts it away. That's 1-1. One, one. Paul Lewis, his 10th goal so far this year in seven games. He just can't stop this guy, but uh, he got a lot of help that time. There's Lucchese. Lloyd repelled. Back to Lucchese. He knocks it square. And... No trouble at all for Lewis. But not much time left in this first half. In fact, uh, there can't be more than about a minute. Here comes Holford with a long shot. And a great save by Dennis once more. 
That's a corner once more for uh, South Melbourne, but Dennis has really been in unbelievable form. So no changes at half time as Woody Vassallo sends the ball forward for Green Gully. Lewis knocks it past uh, Eisendorn, but Bobby Russell's there to clear. Murray, McDowell, and Lloyd, looking for Lewis, takes it on his chest, knocks it wide, faces the goalkeeper, Eisendorn's there to put him off, and Lormetz takes it away. But, promising moment for Green Gully. Long back pass by Murray, and that was well wide of Dennis. Goes for a corner. Brown. Blair. And a one-handed save by Dennis again. Steve Blair coming so... So close to making it 2-1 on this corner from Brown. Watch this save. First Blair up, and there it is, over the top. McClellan. Past Greeno he goes. Smallman, Lucchese, smart out wide. Good move here. But uh, he's got to get it across yet. Can he do so? Two men to beat. Tremendous determination there by Smart. And corner. Well, he really deserved that. He battled so hard for it. Jim Williams uh, going across there to take it. These really are uh, Green Gully's best chances of scoring because the long ball to Lewis isn't really coming off. Smallman! 2-1. Lewis is second. There's the corner by William. Headed far post by Smallman. And Lewis is there to put it just inside the post. A nice move. Well, Egan doing a Lewis. Two goals each, these two men. Holford, the man who set it up. Now it'll go wide from Brown to Holford. And he puts it inside. Egan's there. 2-2. Going into this match, uh, Green Gully had three wins, three draws, no losses. Oh my God, half the ground is now running towards the players' race on the far side. And apparently all of them after that one uh, fellow in green. Well, no police in sight anywhere. And that certainly is strange. <laughs> now, one of the spectators trying to hog the ball. He just won't give it back. It's taken away from him. In the meantime, another one's thrown in from the far side. Now, there are two balls in play, but uh, they're getting rid of the other one. So, a free kick taken by Smallman. Too high for McClellan. Here comes Smart. Can he reach it before McDowell does? He, he's trying to get wide now for the cross. McDowell gets in the tackle and it goes out for a throw-in. We'll have another look at that. McDowell's header. Murphy's header. And I think it was Prajacic on the line. South Melbourne prepares to take the penalty. 
it'll be Doug Brown, number 10. And he puts it away. Great Hellas. And here's the replay of that incident that led to the penalty. Now that, it looked to have uh, struck Krajacic on the chest rather than the hand, but in any case, the penalty was given. South Melbourne Hallis has won the match, 3-2 with a penalty by Doug Brown. Score last year in the FC, but try and ease again, covered himself well, and put some was injured. He made several saves. The, the save of the match came when McDowell sent a pile driver towards the top corner, but in acrobatic fashion, Trinides was there, pushing the ball wide. The young Preston goalkeeper was in great form, but it seemed only a matter of time before South Melbourne got a goal. The winner came in the 74th minute after Crino again was involved. Skillfully working his way past the Preston midfield here, Crino then found Brown on the edge of the penalty area, and it was the overlapping McDowell who supplied the cross for Egan on the far post for a superb goal. Egan's goal sealed the game for South Melbourne and gave them a measure of revenge after twice losing to Preston this season. And Doug Brown. They're after revenge for their 2-1 loss to Juventus. And put away by Egan. Who else? His seventh goal in four games. Well, he certainly got the knack. Jakubanovic couldn't hold that shot from Carino for six minutes. Barnovich still down as the South Melbourne Hellas fans celebrate. It went through the wall. And the man who put it away, Fabio Incantalupo. Joe Caruso, the team manager, coming onto the ground to congratulate him. So too do his teammates. Hit it in, and Egan! No, it's offside. Offside. We'll have a look uh, at it again, though, but uh, the correct decision, Egan, definitely... Russell. Yes. And how happy Zinni is. Well, there's no more heroic performance that I can remember by any forward than Zinni so far in this match. Poster Coglu is with him. Gets his shoulder charge in, but the shot lands in the net. Crowd here today at Olympic Park. Swim. Score here, faces Barnovich, puts it away. His 50th NSL goal, Charlie Egan. Wow, wow, and he's made it 2-2. Here we go, 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 here we go. Here we go. Four from Brown. Brown. The other Brown tried to bring him down, couldn't do so, and Egan puts it away. Two South Melbourne Hellas, two, and uh, South Melbourne has come back from behind. Juventus led 2-1 for much of the game. A good fight back by South Melbourne. Egan's speed and perseverance that gave Hellas its early lead. The first goal came in the 15th minute. Opposition's goal spurred South Melbourne on, especially Charlie Egan. For this uh, big Greek derby, a crowd of about uh, 15,000 it looks like. Certainly one of the best on record between these two clubs. And there comes the South Melbourne Hellas team through the banner. Both teams unchanged for this big match. And the two players to watch, Stuart Stevenson of uh, Heidelberg. He scored six goals so far. And Charlie Egan, top scorer in the National League with nine. Stuart Stevenson, the player on the left, one of the men to watch. 
And there's the uh, kickoff by Kouros. Now the ball will be placed again into the middle, of course, for the official kickoff. By Salamides for a shot by Egan. Save. Brown puts it away. Doug Brown, his first field goal of 1985. He's only scored one penalty before today. Charlie Egan had the first shot, but here's Greeno lobbing it in. Headed down by Salamini, straight to Egan. Knocked away by the goalkeeper. To Brown, he makes no mistake. And the fireworks going off in the stands. Flags are flying. And the South Melbourne Palace supporters absolutely delighted. Going towards goal, going down over the foot of Vian Dobson. So the task is to get past this Preston wall. Richard Wilson's been in good form so far in this match. Brown taking it, and he does it. Gets it past Richard Wilson for his 60th National League goal. He's been chasing that one for quite a few weeks. Number 60, he's done it. He faces the goalkeeper, he's got a score here, and he does. Another one. He scored South Melbourne's first with a free kick in a similar situation. A nice swerving shot that time. And here's another one, hits the bar this time. And then came an incredible goal that left your commentator speechless. Greeno, ground overhead shot, and it's in the... Oh, what a goal! Well, that certainly would be the goal of the year. So that's his 61st National League goal. South Melbourne's third. Colin McAdam, their star newcomer from Scotland, was to have played today. Uh, for some reason, he's not in the lineup. But the man to watch is Steve Maxwell, number 10, on their last visit to Melbourne. We should be in for a good game here at Middle Park. South Melbourne missing John Eisendorn, their sweeper, who's out injured, and Gary McDowell playing in the sweeper's position. Side flag went up, but Bambridge says, play on. Charlie Egan chasing. Flounders in front of him. Cuts inside, Flounders. Trying still to get through, does so, and launches a drive, but it's too high. Brown. Blair. Too high. In the tradition of Juventus of Turin. There are, of course, many Juventuses. Egan tries one. Is it in or is it out? Yes, it's in. It bounced three times. Hit the bottom of the crossbar. There's a pass from Brown. Egan. Tobin in front of him now. Down it goes, down, up, down. And uh, punched away by McNally. It was too late. One nil. Cross for Egan, punched away, Brown, yes, 2-0, Doug Brown. Well started with Postacoglu, number 17, the left back, who crossed it so well, punched away by McNally, falls for Doug Brown, he makes no mistake. There it is now, played square by Villani, Melder coming in on the far side. Puts it past Lormets, 2 1. We're SBS, bringing the world back home. says it all in relation to today's game against Heidelberg, but it didn't last long. It said, Hellas the uh, mighty Burger Eaters, and that of course referred to 
the team's five victories over Heidelberg since early last year. But if that was in the, in, in the indication of how South Melbourne will fare today, they could get beaten. The banner tour, let's hope it didn't uh, tear the heart out of the South Melbourne team. Their uh, lineup today, two changes to the team that uh, beat George Cross 1-0 last week. Ken Murphy and Vlado Bozinovsky returning to the team. George Kaloyaros and John Kanasoulis going out. Kanasoulis on the bench. The Heidelberg team, one change. Their top scorer, Stuart Stevenson, 10 goals so far, is suspended. But George Christopoulos returns after injury. The man to watch today is Peter Tsolakis, number 12, the smallest player on the pitch. His father, Manuel, played in the South Melbourne Hellas team that won its first championship back in 1962 in the company of such all-time greats, Margaritis, Camberopoulos, Bentford, Zanthopoulos, Kaloya Ross, Hatzelev, Thariu and Karpusas. Young uh, Solakis was a South Melbourne Hellas junior. He left to join Port Melbourne where he scored nine goals last season. He's having his fifth senior game for Heidelberg today. Our referee, Tim Davies, who's flown down from Sydney. He did blow the whistle, but uh, there's a bit of a hold up. And now he gets the game underway. A strong wind blowing from left to right. So Heidelberg delivers. Brown's on the ball for the shot, but a great save by Jeff Olver. And what a lovely move by South Melbourne. Dougie Brown's shooting power would come to the fore with the wind in this half. The long ball headed away by Yankos. Taken on Brown's chest, brings it under control and lashes it home. 1-0 to South Melbourne Hellas. fans with their flares causing a few problems the flare is being put into a trough there holding on to top place on the southern division ladder with this score line south melbourne hellas one heidelberg nil what a mistake by preston the hellas flag fluttering Dave smith and he does Melbourne lasted less than a minute. McMillan underneath it is Lane. Lane brings it down. One touch. Inside it goes for Ilioski. And it's in. 2-1 to Preston. Soon South Melbourne scored again to make it 2-2 and then had another. Makes it. Blair. Egan. Egan makes it a hat trick. His 21st goal of the season. Corner comes across. It wasn't. It was Winston Dunn. Dunn was doing up his shoelaces. And it's flicked into the back of the net for the equaliser by Gary Cole. So the start of extra time. The score at 3-3. Three, three. Preston was first to score after extra time, but that wasn't to last too long either. Down goes Trianides and... Brown has put it past Trianides to equal. So it was down to penalties, which went with each kick until it stood at 7-7. Seven, seven. Midfielder, Carl Holford. He too is successful. Sean Lane with Preston's fourth kick and he too puts it away we're into the defenders now and Bobby Russell the right back and it's saved Trianides has saved it Opposinus 
And Opacinus wins the game for Preston Macedonia. Opacinus is successful with a final penalty kick and Preston Macedonia goes into the Southern Division Grand Final against Juventus. Going through a youth match this afternoon unscathed. But for those with Juventus fans, there's one new face in their lineup this week. Scott Patterson signed on Monday for eight and a half thousand dollars from Heidelberg. He takes his place in this Brunswick Juventus lineup that shows two changes from the side that went down 1-0 last week in the Nanda Cup to Melbourne, Croatia. The players out are Jamie Payton, he's dropped, and Joe Sweeney is out through injury. Well, a new face, in fact, an old face in the Melbourne South Melbourne lineup is that of Alan Davison. Now back from Nottingham Forest, thanks to a $12,000 transfer fee, Davison returns and takes his place in this South Melbourne lineup that shows one change from the side that won 5-1 last week against Juventus Pioneer from Tasmania in the Nanda Cup. The player omitted is Arthur Santopoulos, who's out through injury. Our referee today is Don Campbell from South Australia. And South Melbourne in the all blue get us underway in the first half. They're kicking from left to right. No love lost between these two sides. Of course, South Melbourne, the Southern Division National League champions last year, were beaten in the playoffs by Brunswick Juventus, who went on to become national champions. So Gary McDowell. Angelo Postacoglu giving that one away. And a good ball from Richard Miranda sets Charlie Egan on his way. Here's Dougie Brown, now Miranda. Took it, he kept it out, but still the danger might not be clear. Postacoglu. Stopped there by Eisendorn and a combination of Eisendorn and Brian Brown. So just 90 seconds to go to half time. As we wait for this corner to come across, to be taken by Dougie Brown. Swinging this one in, Davidson with the header, and just wide there from Alan Davidson. The Brunswick Juventus goal there, living dangerously. GN Sound Show that's shown every Wednesday night here on SBS television. He sits back as we all await now the start of the second half with South Melbourne in the all blue, kicking from right to left. No score at the end of the first minute. Charlie Egan, who scored both goals for South Melbourne. Egan with the chance and scores. Charlie Egan, South Melbourne creates something out of nothing, and Charlie Egan, such a deadly striker, sends those South Melbourne fans wild. The goal comes 30 minutes into the second half. Charlie Egan, the scorer, a goal that came out of nothing. Dougie Brown there, laid that one through for Charlie Egan. The angle was always awkward. He made it even harder, but somehow got it past the keeper, puts it past Banovic. Brunswick Juventus nil, South Melbourne won, 75 minutes gone. So Charlie Egan, his first league goal of the season, he scored one last week in the cup. And while that goal was being scored and we were watching the replay, Kenny Murphy has been replaced in the South Melbourne side. He's 64th in the Olympic Airways Soccer League. Tim White, quickly, a very interesting match. Very interesting, and I'd like to play uh, a tribute to the condition of both sets of players. Mike, it's been really steamy here this afternoon, and they've kept up uh, an unrelenting pace the whole way through. It's been an excellent game. Well, there's the goal scorer, the hero for South Melbourne, Charlie Egan. His first in the league this season. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more. The final scoreline here at Olympic Park in Melbourne as the South Melbourne fans celebrate. Brunswick Juventus nil, South Melbourne won. Let's cross now to Les Murray back in Sydney. And welcome you to Middle Park here in Melbourne. And by their coach, John Margaritas, today it shows one change from the side that lost last week in Adelaide against Adelaide City by a goal to nil. The player coming in, and they've yet to concede a goal in five. And this one's at the far post. And now Bobby Russell. Russell driving that one hard and low. Egan, the scramble there. 3-2, Steve Tassios, the scorer. Steve Tassios, his first goal for his new club. Since he signed from Heidelberg, 
And 15 minutes into the second half, South Melbourne come back into this match. Steve Tassios, the scorer. The cross was hard and low by Bobby Russell. A scramble there, Charlie Egan found to put it away. The ball came loose, and Steve Tassios blasts that one into an empty net. Two goals in the space of three minutes. Charlie Egan there, playing that one into the path of Danny Craney. He went past one defender, hit it hard and low, gave the keeper no chance. 18 minutes into the second half, South Melbourne three, Preston three. And again by the young fullback, brought down, there's got to be a penalty. Richard Lorenz had absolutely no hesitation, but a good run by the young fullback. Costa Coglu there went past defenders and was brought down by that man, Ian Roodhouse. So South Melbourne now get a penalty. In back play, a player is down. Injured, that's Alan Davidson. Somehow there, a Union Jack got into the celebrations. One's not quite sure about that. Put them ahead. Faced by the keeper and scores! Danny Craney scores from the penalty spot. And that's the biggest cheer of the season so far around Middle Park. South Melbourne take the lead. Danny Craney gets his second goal of the match. His second goal for his new club. The goalkeeper guessed right, but failed to keep it out. And 24 minutes now into the second half. South Melbourne four, Preston three. Three in the second half. And Preston, who came here undefeated as league leaders, have suffered a 4-3 defeat. The fans go on to mob Danny Craney, the player that's come from Celtic, from Wolves and from Dundee. But a lot of credit to that man, Charlie Egan, now also mobbed by the fans. South Melbourne are back on the winners track. That will be good news for their coach, John Margaritas, and certainly good news for their fans. An exciting afternoon here at Middle Park in Melbourne, where the final scoreline reads, South Melbourne 4, Preston 3. So from the excitement of South Melbourne, let's cross back now to Les Murray at Lambert Park in Sydney. The running of this Hellas team is causing all sorts of problems for Marconi. Wade now has Paul Foster going down the right. Foster has time. Foster's blocked. Gets a second chance. Danny Wright's arriving. And the header glances past the post. Foster Coglu now. Once again, tremendous running from Hellas. Cross comes in. Calder on. Gets it away. Foster Coglu gets it back. Still not clear. Danny Wright's in there. Trimboli! Hellas into the lead. After 23 minutes, Paul Trimboli. Tremendous work by Danny Wright, Angie Foster Coglu. And the running and enthusiasm and work rate. Hellas are really hot. The fans are hot too. The traditional Hellas flair is set off. Fourth corner. Wright gave it away. And Marconi can break. But once again, Paul Wade. Tremendous running. Salakis. And Hells have beaten the offside trap. Flag stays down. Foster. It's round James. Brought down, but Danny Wright's there. 2-0. Two, Two goals in four minutes. Hellas is on fire. But all credit must go to Paul Wade. He chased back, won the ball, and he is an inspirational form at the moment. So once again, Danny Wright gets the shot on target. And the Marconi come back in the second half. De Jong, Fred De Jong, and that was a goal of opportunity. Blasted well over the bar. And Marconi pressuring De Jong, a bicycle kick that time, and Hellas has been rather subdued in the second half. Blair, Mason in trouble. Tassios gets the better of him, pulled back by the shirt. Well, Tassios was through with the keeper to beat from there and players have been sent off this year for that type of offence shirt pulling what will referee Chris Bambridge do he has the card out will it be a send off 
or no booking. Well, Craig Mason can consider himself very lucky. This comes in. Away, Gomez. Mistake by Gomez allows Trimboli in. Near post. And good save by Bruce James. Palace once again looking dangerous. Marconi pressure. Looking to get back into this game. De Jong has worked hard. Carter. Ball comes loose. McCulloch. And a good save by Congatus. Hasn't had much to do tonight, but did it well there. Wade once again throwing himself about, leading this team by example. And Hallis can break away again. Right. That's Foster Coglu continuing his run. Foster Coglu. 3 0. In the dying minutes, Hellas has rubbed salt into the Marconi wounds. And the army of Hellas fans who have returned to National League soccer this year are showing their delight. Carl Patterson at the microphone, Olympic Park in. Yes. Soccer isn't Australian. Soccer isn't tough. Soccer isn't exciting. In Australia, more kids play soccer than any other sport. If you want to show your kids how it's done, take them to watch the big boys play this weekend. It's a game for heads and heart and feet. A game of skill you just can't beat. A thunderbolt hits the back out the net and your team looks gone. Nothing not done yet. This is Aussie soccer. You just can't touch it. This is Aussie soccer. Square ball inside, Simboli on, there's the shot off the post. A great build-up, Paul Foster shooting against the post. Uh, rather David Healy, a little trip inside for Simboli, and should have been just getting ahead to it. And a little scissor kick there from Peter Falakis. And the ball, Maxwell gets the better of it, and Russell, his clearance just deflecting back to Melta, who's got Charlie Villani free. Charlie Villani, can he go on with it? He does! And what a comeback goal from Adelaide City, a mix-up in the middle of the park. The ball came across to Charlie Villani and he took his chance well. Adelaide City taking the lead in the 19th minute of play. Keeps it in as well. Ball's up there. Cassios goes on with it and it hits the post. It hits the post again the second time they've done it in the match, South Melbourne. That looks like a match ball. Waiting for the reinforcements. And there's one of them. A really a good man. A great save by Giatis. A powerful shot from Aurelio Vigma and Giatis showing his stuff from the South Melbourne goal. Back, Saligoras has shot. Went straight through Paul Trimboli. Trimboli trying to call it around. And what a great goal by Paul Trimboli. Saligoras had the shot. Trimboli was there with a foot into the space. He turned around and threw it. And he was very nice bit of the play. And really it's taken them a long time to do it, but they finally drew a level. And right again, just over the top from Danny Wright. Moments earlier, he put South Melbourne ahead and due to technical problems here. He couldn't catch that on uh, cameras. But Danny Wright proving again how dangerous he can be. And a nice bit of play there by Tassios. And now Salakis coming up. Beating Tassios. Playing well in the second half. Peter Salakis. Salakis! What a goal! Peter Talakis puts South Melbourne help to head three runs. It all came from Sini Tassios. The ball inside. It was blasted home by Peter Talakis. The sensational second half. Three runs South Melbourne Hellas. Nine minutes into the second half. Stand it up. That's the front row. And some volleys catching it on to Tassios. Sini Tassios is on his own. Can he go on with it? Foul by the keeper. Beating right, Danny Wright, 
And Simboli is running out of space. Can Simboli get around? It looks like he was fouled. He was. He made a few attempts. And Simboli was brought down in the box and on top his pass inside by Danny Wright. 25 minutes into the second half. Plus the Coglu has the chance to make it four. But the Coglu easily puts it away to the delight of this huge crowd here. This side of the field is packed and they're all up off their seats. As Costa Coglu makes it 4 1. He was forward by Sassuos. And Miller, the flesh, and now Cimboli inside. Right! 5 1. An absolute demolition in the second half. The Cimboli right combination doing it again. Dale Feldman leads by 5 goals to 1. And this really is a sensational second half to start a match. Sergio Melta. And a great goal, Sergio Melta. That is one of the best goals you'll ever see from such an acute angle, a pass coming back from Maxwell, but the game is all but over and easy to find it. Formation of South Melbourne Hellas from a team of hardy professionals to today's collection of exciting youngsters has done nothing but good for the NSL. Coach Brian Garvey's latest discovery is teenage striker Kim Taliadoros, whose match-winning efforts last weekend earned him a place in yesterday's starting lineup. Yet the attacking flair of Hellas is sometimes a mixed blessing for Garvey, whose defence has conceded eight goals in the past two games. What we've talked about at times, when you are in the lead, uh, that you've got to steady down and, and play more, a little bit more organised. It doesn't mean defend, but it means attack in a more organised way, rather than just running here, there and everywhere. So you're trying to bring some caution into this youthful exuberance that exists in the same? Uh, not caution, just a little bit of um, balance. A little bit more balance that you naturally can't attack for 90 minutes. For Brisbane Lions, the long journey south was made a little easier by the balmy weather in Melbourne, but the heat did nothing to stop the usual Hellas onslaught. So Healy's ball forward finds Trimboli. Cummings slips. Trimboli now in the area, waiting for support. Tassios arrives, side foot, 1 0 to Hellas after five minutes. And that was so easy. Trimboli just waited for Tassios to arrive, slip the ball inside. So Postacoglu now, looking for support, knocks it wide to Foster, and Foster grazes the bar. But with Hellas well in control, a moment of uncertainty in defence was punished by the Lions' Frank Mengotti. So the Lions can break out now, Mengotti the sweeper, picks up the ball in his own half, still running, running straight through the defence, Mengotti tries the shot, there it is, the equaliser. What a great run by Frank Mengotti, up to 16 minutes. The Lions back on equal terms, but really Mangotti should not have got through there. Three defenders and he somehow beat them all. So the Lions back on level terms. And Hellas fans not happy with that goal. And the Lions moving things well in the second half, building up nicely. Why now finds Bassing Swaite. Bassing Swaite has support now. Trying to go on his own. Ball goes to the right. Dwyer's there. Still Dwyer. Confronts the keeper, gets the shot. Well, Giannis gets an important touch. And Dwyer should have done better there. Uh, nice touch down for Kelagiros. Kelagiros has Danny Wright making the run on the outside. Cuts in. Looks for Trimboli. That's cut out. Wright knocks it back to Trimboli. And it struck Mangotti there. Appeals for a penalty. What will it be? The linesman's seen something. The referee Dennis Wasinas goes over to consult him. What will it be? A penalty. From what I can see, he's just taking the ball on the chest and attempted an overhead to get it inside the box, and it's just come from behind, off his shoulder, behind into my into the side of my face, and uh, I was just quite, quite amazed at the decision, actually. So Angie Postacoglu versus Jason Keaton. Postacoglu wins, and Hellas back into the lead. Five minutes into the second half, cool play. The Hellas players say the ball definitely struck Mangotti's hand. But the replay is inconclusive. Lions coach Juan Cotillas was angry over the intervention of linesman John Stojkovic. Deep this time again, Gautas misses it. Mangotti fires it back. Gautas struggling. And on the near post, Dell's already been booked. And he must go. So ends a sad day for Lions. No points. And finishing with 10 minutes. Top, while Olympics win has pushed them up a place. And Sunshine has dropped two positions. In the bottom half, Footscray has dropped two places. Adelaide has climbed, but Preston still bring up the rear, having drawn four games and only scoring one goal. Trimbley and Salakis, 
but Postacoglu will try one. Super shot, Angelo Postacoglu, after one minute's play. Goyevich, well done by Bruce McLaren. Good healthy crowd for this local derby in Melbourne. George Caligero, the chance. It's a shove from Alvacinas. It'll be a free kick to South Melbourne. Cassius takes it. Far post. Blair gets it back and Blair gets it in. We've played just two minutes of the second half. 1-1 one, one the score. The scorer for Hellas, Steve Blair. And the Hellas faithful getting right behind the team now. David Healy storms forward. Danny Wright. Cleared by Ron Campbell. So now the pressure back on the visitors. Solakis. Far post from Bowley. Healy. And clear. Now Tassios. Caligeros. Trimbley. Tassios. Trimbley again. And a goal. Yes it is. Hellas have taken the lead in the space of four minutes. So, round Salakis, does McLennan. Still Macedonia. Unbelievable, they can't clear it, they can't clear it, and so, so nearly a goal. Right, finds Kelagiros. Back inside, on the far post arriving, Fernandez, there's a goal! In fact, David Healy, on the overlap, the fullback, made a great run from deep. And after only four minutes, South Melbourne Hellas into the lead. Tremendous start for the young team. As we see the build-up there, that pass by Kalajiros wrong-footed about three defenders, and Healy made the ground there and rifled that shot past Jeff Olver. Fantastic play by the young fullback in his first season with Hellas. Gives his team the lead after just four minutes. Goes deep for Alan Scott. Gets a touch with Dale White. Knocks it back in. White's done there over the bar. Robbie Dunn cursing himself. He crept up there on the far post and Dale White did well to get that ball across. And really, Dunn had a great opportunity. This is White does well to get past Blair. Get his cross in. There's Lewis. Ball's loose in the net. No, a free kick. Don Campbell on the spot. Davis is there. Davis with a header. Milosevic goes in deep again. Dunn's there. The header down. Davis, a great save by McLaren. Well, that's the second brilliant save by Bruce McLaren to deny Alan Davidson. Ghosted in there as Milosevic pumped that ball again to the far post. Davidson unchallenged. And what a brilliant save by Bruce McLaren. Reading second.